I am not an animal. Hey, boys and girls, men and women of all ages, it's story time. So gather around as we get ready to tell the story that I am not an animal. Coming up next. Be sure to subscribe below and hit that bell so you can get the next notification from the ring-a-ding-ding -ding on the next upload. And thank you again if you've already subscribed and part of my YouTube family. So, what had happened was that I am not an animal is many, many moons ago... I was at the store, and actually I was at a Walmart, and this is before I got my canine companion, Ricardo. This actually happened about 25 years ago. And I was pushing in the store, and looking around, pushing, and my right hand went to go get, the, to get on the wheel to push, and when I put my hand down to push, I felt something there. I didn't feel like the tire, didn't feel like the rim, so I looked down there, and there's this little girl. Uh, she probably about five years old, I'm guessing. And she was pushing my wheelchair with me. She was helping me. She was propelling my wheelchair with and for me. It was awesome that she was doing that. And I said, hey, thank you, little girl. Appreciate your help. Well, about that time, mother saw what happened. And she grabbed her baby girl. She picked her up, scolded her about touching my wheelchair, bounced her in the buggy, it looked like, and I said, ma'am, ma'am, she, she didn't, she wouldn't do anything bad. She just curious about the wheelchair and, you know, she was helping, helping me. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. And the woman informed me quickly, she will not bother you again. And I said, but ma'am, she didn't bother me. She's curious about the wheelchair. And she says, well, she will not do that again. I said, I said, well, you're right about that. I said, the way you're making everything out to be, she's going to think that people like me are nothing but animals, that we are not worth being found out about and, and openly minded about people with disabilities, the way they're acting, because of the way you're acting is what I told her. I said, I, you're right. She won't ever do it again. You're going to make her so afraid of us. Well, the woman then just turns her buggy and puts her nose up and leaves. Well, there's people out there that are just like that. There's nothing you can say, nothing you can do that's going to help them be open-minded and see they're just so closed-minded, so negative. There's nothing you can do. Again, say your little two cents and move on and stay positive. The sad thing is she's going to pass that trait down to her little girl who was, again, openly minded, curious about the wheelchair. She was helping me push. She was, oh, it was adorable. That little girl would never do that again. And that's sad to say, but that's what's going to happen. Hopefully... The girl gets older. She learns to think on her own. She can bypass some of what mama was trying to teach. And hopefully she would do better than that. Odds are, it won't happen. But, again, move on. Do the best we can. Be positive. Be an influencer. Be an encourager. Do something today, tomorrow, something next week. Hey, don't be shy. Go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. And now, do something today, tomorrow, something next week. It's going to help you persevere past your paralysis.